are you going to do? I'm going to record all the noise. Oh, yeah? Hello, and thank you for tuning in to a sneak peek of Quote Unquote. Today will be a sample of what is to come on the show in the new year of 2019. Here is what to expect. We will have much to talk about with a call-in portion on the show. Different hosts talking about what matters most. Current topics of the week. As the show is new and in development, our producers are working around the clock to give you the best in entertainment and education. This is our motto each and every show. We will love for you to chime in, give feedback, call in and talk to our hosts who have backgrounds in multiple fields. In addition to talk radio, we will be playing up and coming music as well as recording the show in live and remote locations. We hope that you enjoy the show and the shows to come. Hello there, WDBO country, Orlando. How are you? Fine. How are you tonight? Okay, baby. What's on your mind? I bought a dog um, in April. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. Okay, baby. What's on your mind? WDBO country, Orlando. How are you? Fine. How are you tonight? Okay, baby. What's on your mind? It's a Yorkie. Yorkie, ter- Yorkie Terrier, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And um, she got sick in September. And um, we found out that uh, she has a very uh, bad liver. And uh, they won't give us any um, expectations on our life. And I just wondered what recourse we had and how to approach the breeder. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. Yorkie, ter- Yorkie Terrier, is it? It's a Yorkie. Yorkie, ter- Yorkie Terrier, is it? It's a Yorkie. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. Yorkie, ter- Yorkie Terrier, is it? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. Terrier, is it? It's a Yorkie. Terrier, is it? It's a Yorkie. Terrier, is it? It's a Yorkie. What kind of a hound? Terrier, is it? Uh-huh. What kind of a hound? Terrier, is it? Yorkie, Yorkie, Yorkie. Yorkie, ter- Yorkie Terrier, is it? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. She got sick in September. Terrier, is it? Uh-huh. Okay, baby, what's on your mind? She got sick in September, and uh, we found out that uh, she has a very uh, bad liver. And uh, they won't give us any um, expectations on our life. And I just wondered what recourse we had and how to approach the breeder. Well, I'm not sure you have any recourse. Is this something that the breeder could or should have known? This is, no, it's not. Well, but I understood under their Florida um, lemon law that there was uh, a possibility that we could at least get our money back. A lemon law for an mm-hmm. animal? She, has a, she was born with this. Yeah, this but, is something that would not show up immediately. Well, that, that, that's my point. As I said, how can the breeder be held responsible for something that they were not aware of? I, I sympathize with you losing your pet because I know how that is. I've been down that road and I can hear the pain in your voice. But as far as being, being reimbursed for something that they didn't know, I don't think that's reasonable. Lemon law. A lemon law for an animal? Lemon law. A lemon law for an animal? How long can, a, can an animal be guaranteed or warranted? Well, I don't know. I've had places that have... Um then I bought them at the pet shop that they've guaranteed them for up to a year. A lemon law for an animal? It's a Yorkie. Shop that they've guaranteed them for up to a year. A lemon law for an animal? It's a Yorkie. Okay, baby, what's on your mind? Places that have, um, then I bought them at the pet shop that they've guaranteed them for up to a year. Well, first of all, I wouldn't buy an animal at pet And in shop. fact, I bought one one time that had a 10-year guarantee. A 10-year? Yes, she had a 10-year guarantee. What kind of an animal? It was a Yorkie. Better man than I, Gunga Dean. A lemon law for an animal? One time they had a 10-year guarantee. Ten she had a 10-year ago. guarantee. She, a, she okay. passed away when she was 15, but I still have her. I still a have all her records, and guarantee. it says there, 10 years. Take a deep breath. A guarantee against what? <laughs> Things just like this. A lemon law for an animal? Take a deep breath. Things just like this. That's very hard. Well, I mean, I'm not questioning it. But this <laughs> no, well, I have it on file. It's well, out there on my file. I, I can't imagine how anybody could give such a thing. Well, they did. Well, you can certainly approach them, but if, if, if I were the breeder, 
under the circumstances you described, I, I think I'd have to sympathize with you, but that's where it would end. A lemon law for an animal? Well, they did. Well, under the circumstances you described, I, I think I'd have to sympathize with you, but that's where it would end. Mm-hmm. A lemon law for an animal? Mm-hmm. A lemon law for an animal? It's a Yorkie. Don't disagree with you. And if you'd found out earlier, so what? Expectations on our life? I sympathize with you, but that's where it would end. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, we might have found out sooner if um, we'd had blood work done. Yeah. But how many people do blood work on well, puppies that are normal, you know, act I perfectly normal? don't disagree with you. And if you'd found out earlier, so what? The, sa the same, my same, um, my position remains the same. How can the breeder be held responsible for something they had no knowledge of? Um, I don't know, but on the other hand, um, how can the breeder continue to breed dogs that have congenital problems? Um, we don't know. Um, I just think you're on very weak ground here. It's not that I'm not sympathetic, but I think you're on weak ground. Mm -hmm. and if there's somebody out there that wants to correct me, I'd be willing to listen. You can listen to the radio. Um, um, I don't want to use the word hold, but... Um, I have a dog breeder in... Cincinnati, who is going to comment, so the, the thrust of the thing, the lady said she bought a dog eight months ago, and there was a congenital problem, which has turned up. She feels that the dog breeder ought to come up with some money. It was my position that after eight months, I didn't think so. It's nice to talk to you. It's a pl Thank you so much for joining me. What's going on here? What's the, what did you tell me? Uh, in my opinion, uh, I've been breeding dogs for years now. Mm -hmm. A lemon law for an animal? It's a Yorkie. Okay, baby, what's on your mind? Most breeders, even without a contract that is reputable breeders, will give you credit towards another animal. Mm -hmm. uh, in my opinion, uh, I've been breeding dogs for years now. Even without a contract that is reputable breeders, will give you credit towards another animal. Uh, mm -hmm. After eight months? Uh, I do it. I've done it for up to three years. How do you really? Five years. Well, see, how, I how can you afford to do that? Because I love my dogs. I, I don't well, I love my money. dogs, too. Well... Bruce, I've been breeding for several years now, and I didn't make it. I made one dollar after the six litter. Mm. Uh, I love my breed. Mm -hmm. and what breed do you have? It's a Yorkie. Mm -hmm. I breed Chinese Sharpays. Oh, my, a very trendy little mutt. Uh, yeah, I just got a litter of seven on the ground, and I... There's no way I'm going to come close to breaking even on this one. Because I love my dogs. I, I well, don't I love my money. dogs, too. It's a Yorkie. Yorkie, ter Yorkie Terrier, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Because I love my dogs. I, I well, don't I love my money. dogs, too. Uh, I love my breed. Mm -hmm. and what breed do you have? It's a Yorkie. Mm -hmm. I breed Chinese Sharpays. Oh, my. A very trendy little mutt. I breed Chinese Sharpays. Oh, my. A very trendy little mutt. What kind of a hound? It's a Yorkie. Okay, baby. What's on your mind? to break it even on this one. Is that right? They, they, they are, they've come down a bit in price, have they not? Yeah, but the problem is, is most people oversell them. Mm-hmm. A lemon law for an animal? Mm-hmm. A lemon law for an animal? Yeah, but the problem is, is most people oversell them. Huh? I sell mine for about three to three fifty. Yeah, they were up over, what, a couple of grand for oh, a while. I've, I've sold puppies to local, the breeders locally for $500 each. They turned around and sold them for two thousand. Yeah, I, I, I remember when Sharpays were the... The thing to have. It's a Yorkie. Right, but most breeders, like I will, on, on a congenital disease problem like that, okay, I put a good guarantee in there, and most breeders will say, hey, thanks for letting us know. Here's a credit towards another animal. Um, it's very generous. You know, I, I mean, that's just the way my contract is, and that's the way... Uh, what about this 10-year deal? Goes. What about a 10-year stand? Is that possible? It's very generous. You know, in my opinion, no. There was a few pet stores that were trying stuff like that and doing stuff like that, but if you read through the fine print... A lemon law for an animal? Lemon law. A lemon law for an animal? <laughs> you know, You're a better man than I, Gunga Dean. But yes, I mean, she should talk to the breeder and okay. they may be able to help her. I listen, I appreciate your comments, and if I'm dead wrong, and it may, may, I may well be, I, uh, I'm very happy to be corrected. Thanks for calling. Have a great holiday, my you friend. Too. This was taken from one of the first shows in the early days. It features Shindel Land. Mark Hamill is the Joker. Between the two, it's a cut and paste of the, the talking about Batman and the word like. The word like is a word that is used too much since the 80s. The produced work was done by Reverend Jim and resulted hits almost the five-minute mark for a track in the shows to come. Please anticipate the cut and paste the live shows, music, and you will be able to find us on platforms such as Spotify, Google Music, iTunes, iHeartRadio, and YouTube. Please like and share. Give feedback, or just...
Give us a second to listen. Thank you for your time. And hopefully we brought a smile. Don't forget that the shows will continue to be about education and entertainment. Yours truly. From all of us at quote unquote. Oh, 
as usual and avoid panic buying. 